Welcome to Collaborating with Co-Teachers. When teachers collaborate, teaching and learning is more effective. Seesaw supports deep collaboration among all teachers involved in a student's learning. In this training, you will add co-teachers, share and modify activities, use folders, and manage settings. Let's add co-teachers to your Seesaw class. Keep in mind that all teachers connected to your Seesaw class have the same permissions. They can approve, edit, or delete posts, share activities, message families, and adjust class settings. Add a co-teacher in class settings. That's the wrench icon. Click Manage Teachers, type your co-teacher's email address, then click Invite Teacher. Your co-teacher will receive an invite via email that looks like this. They click Join Class and follow the prompts. See all teachers connected to your class in the class settings. Manage Teachers. To remove a teacher, click Remove. There are some limits to the total number of teachers that can be connected to a class. These include you, the main classroom teacher. For example, teachers using the free Seesaw can have themselves and one additional co-teacher for a total of two teachers connected. Pause the video and invite co-teachers. As co-teachers, you can collaborate on activities. Each teacher's My Library is private to them. That means your co-teacher cannot see what's in your My Library. They have a My Library of their own. To share an activity with a colleague, click the three dots at the bottom of the activity, then click Share. The best way to share is by copying the activity link and pasting it in an email. Shared activities can be saved and modified. Your co-teacher opens the activity, clicks the heart to save the activity, clicks the three dots, then copy and edit activity. They can modify any part of the activity. A co-teacher might want to include directions in another language to support English language learners. They click the trash can to remove the original audio directions and then replace with their own. A co-teacher might want to include differentiated resources in the example. They click the X to remove the student example and then upload resources of their own. Or a co-teacher might want to edit the template for student responses to include scaffolds or extensions. They click the template for student responses to edit. Don't forget to save! The modified activity saves as a copy in your co-teacher's My Library under their name. Remember, you won't be able to see this modified activity unless your co-teacher shares it with you. Once an activity is modified, co-teachers can assign it to classes or specific students. They click Assign and select one or more classes. This is helpful for co-teachers who work with multiple classes. Or click Edit Students Folders and Skills, and in the Students tab, select Students to Assign to. This is helpful for co-teachers who work with small groups of students. Pause the video now and share an activity. Folders help you and your co-teacher collaborate seamlessly. Create folders in class settings by clicking Manage Folders. Create folders for subjects, small groups, or another system of your own. Collaborate with your co-teacher to decide on a system that works best for you. Once folders are created, you and your co-teacher can tag folders to activities. Click Assign, Edit Students Folder Skills, and in the Folders tab, select a folder. All student responses to the activity get tagged to the folder automatically. When posts are tagged to folders, you and your co-teacher can view and approve posts by folder. It's super handy. In the Journal tab next to Class Journal or a student's name, click the folder icon. Choose a folder. You see posts tagged to that folder. When approving work, you can also view posts by folder. Click Review. Click on the folder icon. Select a folder and see all pending posts tagged to that folder. This allows your co-teacher to sort and approve pending posts by their subject or caseload. Work as a teacher team to coordinate how and when to approve student posts. Pause the video now, create folders, and a plan for approving posts. Let's explore how co-teachers manage multiple classes and account settings. Click the profile icon. Teachers with multiple classes click on a class to view it. Adjust account settings by clicking the gear icon, then account settings.
Teachers with multiple classes might receive a lot of notifications. Adjust notification preferences in account settings. Note that notification settings apply to all classes and there is no option to remove the red notification gem at this time. Pause the video now, toggle between classes, and adjust notification preferences. You did it! You learned how to add co-teachers, share activities for co-teachers to modify, use folders to support workflow, and manage classes and settings. Thanks for learning with us today! You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.